Okay, so this is a little tutorial on making a simple Construct 3 mobile joystick. So here I've got the whole joystick, the whole deal, everything's finished. I'll just show you how it works and I'll run you through the whole event sheet. I tried to make it simple. Understand, please understand that this is my solution. I came up with this by myself. Uh, it's probably not the most streamlined. I have to be honest. It's probably not. I'm sure that there's many better ways. But this is the way I do it. And uh, it works. As you can see, it, it's limited. It won't leave its area. It's like on a leash. Uh, the player will move faster depending on how far you move the joystick. And it works. And I am using my mouse, but it does in fact work on a touchscreen. All right, so the way this works is the joystick is actually on a leash. I'll make the leash visible now and you'll see what I mean. So now whenever you see me moving the joystick, there's this black line and you see the black line is actually what's stopping the joystick from moving outside of the area. The black line is only allowed to go, I believe it's called the radius of the circle. It's only, it's only allowed to move out half the circle, which is where I want it limited. So, and then once the black line is there, I just stop moving the joystick to the mouse, and instead I move it to the front of that black line. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is make the black line. I can click it here. Here, I'll click it over here. So, here's the black line. You can make it as wide or as small as you want, but you need to have an image point. The origin, I'd say do half of, I'd say at least do two and do half. Do an even number and do half, because it makes it easier. Uh, and then you're going to want two image points. You're going to want the origin to be, you need it to be facing this way on the left side. And you want the origin to be right here in uh in between on the y and on the x zero and then you want a second you want an image point one to be on x x doesn't matter too much but it has to be on y5 it just needs to be on the same y as the same y as the origin point the x it doesn't matter too much that can be left up alone so that line is very important to this method of doing things so is this background. This background, make it as large as you want, but understand you'll have to tweak the way the code is depending on the size of this. I have it 500 by 500, nice and simple. This joystick, you'll also need this. This is the actual thing you'll be touching and moving. This is what gets moved. This is 200 by 200 for me, but you can change that size. That actually doesn't matter at all. All right, so you just need the image points to be in the center of both of these. You need your player. Doesn't matter how, what you're using. If you want to use a eight dimensional movement, all you have to do is set it up with angles. It's not that hard. But uh, here's the event sheet. Now, first thing I do is set up the positions. So, as you can see, I first set the background to a certain position to make sure it's where I want it to be. And then I just set the line and the joystick to it. Now, over here, we have what happens whenever you touch the joystick so this variable here is the distance it can go but what this variable really also is is i believe what it is the radius i think is what it's called which it, mm, is the radius just half the circle or not i cannot remember so it's only half the circle from the origin point right here to the end that is 250. so just grab your size. You need it to be whatever by whatever. It needs to be. They can't be different. It needs to be locked together. So you just grab your size and divide that by two. And that's what your distance allowed will be. Just do distance allowed. Do whatever your number is divided by two. So. Then we'll have this right here. This is just a blank sub event you just hit you click on the group and hit b to make those and then 
you just put an action and just line set angle toward this will just be happening constantly that's what you need so this is this will set the angle of direction it'll tell the player where which direction to move to because the line needs to be moving towards the joystick so that's all it's doing right there you can see that now this right here will make sure that the touch does not leave its circle or limitation so what it does is it compares the distance between the joy background x so this is just the background and the background it just compares the background the distance of the background with the distance of the joystick and this goes off of origin points so you see that point right there the distance between that point and this point is what that is so you see this point then the distance between this point and this point in fact i think what i could do is this no i cannot i cannot do that i'd like to do that but i cannot okay so i'll put the point right on the same line and now hopefully that'll give you a better visual so the distance before between these two points this right here in the black line is what that's measuring so if the distance is 250 which it would be if it's right here then it will no longer set the width of the line to be like whatever the distance is so it'll no longer be setting the width of the line to be the distance in between the two Therefore, the line will no longer get longer. It won't get longer again. Like, it'll keep getting longer until it goes past this, and then it'll stop getting longer. It'll just rotate. And then, instead of us still... Oh. Instead of us still setting... What we do after this is we decide, okay... Now, so this is else, meaning that this is not true. So this is if the touch is like the, the leash. The touch is outside, is trying to go outside of the circle or the limitation. So this is what we're doing. We're going to set the position of the joystick to the line in that image point we made. So this image point right here is where the circle is going to get set to. And since this is getting stretched out, this image point will be wherever the end of the line is. So we're setting the circle to the end of the line. And that way the circle will not leave the line. Now, this, all it does, you just have it on drag and drop. This will just drop, whenever it gets dropped, it will just set the joystick back to the joy background. And then... To move the player, the, we just do this right here. Just copy that down if you need to. I put divided by 10. Divide it or multiply it by however much you need. This will just, right now I'm turning down the speed because it was too fast. So dividing by 10 makes it a lot slower. If you multiply it by 10, it would make it way faster. Now, if you wanted to use eight directional movement, I can show you how to do that.
All right, so the way this works here, let me just disable this. Uh, okay, so the way this works here is this will figure out if the line's angle is within 60 degrees of zero, which you might think it's up, it's right. So this, is, this would mean that the line is going right. And if it's this, then it's going down. And if it's this, it's going left. And if it's this, it's going up. And then if it's in, if these two are intersecting each other, so it's going right, but also down, then it'll go, it'll get angled. So I'll show you how that will work. If I just give the player here, if I give him another behavior, if I give him the eight direction behavior, uh, now I can just get the player here to simulate control, right? Down, left, or, yep, left, and up. Now, if, now that would work, this works, but there's a key difference between these two. Oh, it's drifting. And the reason is because we need to make sure this only happens whenever it is dragging. So we'll put a little thing, joy is dragging. So, and then grab all of these, put them under that. So, Joy is dragging, and now it should be working. Now, the caveat to this is that now it will no longer set it, it won't go faster. But you can actually fix that very easily. I'm going to turn off the, ang uh, the angling. So, the way you make it go faster is you just say, uh, player, 8 direction, set max speed to, you may have guessed it by now, this right here, I'm still going to do it divided by 10. That'll be harder to manage, but that's what you can do. Okay, divided by 10, too much, maybe... Not divided by 10. There we go. You can see it'll go much slower and faster depending on if you're doing it like this or like that. So I'll, I'll just toggle that off and say that's not something I would want to do if I were going to use 8 direction personally, but it's something you can do nonetheless. I'll just actually turn this back on. I'll just make comment this up real quick. Okay, and that is pretty much everything here. This whole project will be released in the description below. There will be a download link to a CP3 file, which can be downloaded and edited to your heart's extent. If you would very much like to, you could make a full game out of this joystick. You know, you can just take the, this project and then make your game over it. Or you can remake it. You know, it's up to you. Uh, I hope this helped. You know, I uh, a little while ago, I had to make a joystick on my own. And it was a little bit annoying because I was hoping to find a tutorial on it and just breeze through it. But this solution is compact. And uh, I actually quite proud of it. Let me know if you think it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen or not. Anyway, if you have any suggestions or any thing you'd like to see for a tutorial, I can try my best and have yourself a nice day.